Welcome to the SSRPM product demo. In this product demo, we will demonstrate how you can adapt the SSRPM registration wizard to the requirements of your organization. A system administrator can determine in numerous ways how the registration wizard is presented to the end users. We will show you several of the most common changes in this short demonstration video. This is what the registration wizard looks like by default. Users have to answer two questions that they can select from a list of standard questions. There are no restrictions regarding the length of the answers or case sensitivity. The answers that the users provide are also visible in the wizard at this time. SSRPM profile settings can be linked with the SSRPM console to the users in the Active Directory. SSRPM offers several options for this. Settings can be made at the organizational unit level or settings for the entire domain. We first change the number of questions that the users have to answer to three. We also increase the number of characters that make up an answer to a minimum of five and make the answers case sensitive. Then we ensure that the entered answers using asterisks are not visible when they are being entered. For verification purposes, the answers will have to be entered twice by the users. We can also add an additional question to SSRPM. In this case, what is your employee number? After the question has been added, it will form part of a pool of available questions in SSRPM. The question can also be set as a mandatory question. The changes have now been implemented. As you can see, the changes are immediately active and visible for all users as soon as they launch the registration wizard. It is also possible to launch the registration wizard in a mandatory fashion on the workstation of the users. There is an option to make the canceling or closing of the wizard impossible, and the wizard can also be displayed on the top of all other screens, possibly even full screen. This makes not registering with SSRPM nearly impossible for users. This option is especially useful if a large group of users have already registered for SSRPM. This is why it is necessary to use the GPO file that is supplied with SSRPM. This will make the SSRPM specific group policy settings available to you. With the group policy editor, the cancel button can be disabled. The SSRPM screen can always be displayed on the top of all other screens to the users. You can also make it impossible to slide the wizard outside the visible part of the screen. After the settings have been applied, the changes will be visible the next time the user logs in or starts the wizard. As we have just shown, SSRPM offers a range of options to adapt the requirements of the registration wizard to meet the needs of your organization. For more information, please visit our website, www.toolsforever.com. Thank you for your time and attention.